Hey guys, Matthew Croissant here, Reed Buick GMC in Kansas City, Missouri, giving you some information on our 2015 Ford Escape SE. You can see this comes in the ingot silver paint coat. You have a nice chrome alloy wheel set, chrome accents all around the vehicle. You've got a rail system up above, privacy glass on all your rear windows. You've got a heated back glass with a rear wiper, backup camera. This one's also equipped with a little tow package. You have rear parking sonar on here, and just to let you know, this is your EcoBoost with all-wheel drive. It's intelligent four-wheel drive is what Ford likes to call it. Wrapping around the vehicle here, you can see that the bottom of the vehicle is entirely lined with plastic to help prevent with any unnecessary rusting for the future ownership of your vehicle. Up top, you can also see we've got a nice panoramic moonroof. Nice large halogen headlights with fog lights are included on this model. Let's go ahead and get her opened up here and take a peek inside. Just to note, the mirrors are heated and have a nice little blind spot mirror here. You also have a cool little door code lock on the door here, just in case you can't find your keys. Inside, you've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. Nice lighter interior uh, for the vehicle. You've got a power driver seat, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way adjustable with power lumbar support. Jumping on in here, you can see you've got automatic headlights right here with your fog lights. Uh, so no need to worry about turning those on or off ever. You've got a leather wrapped steering wheel in here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on. So as you can see here, uh, we've got mounted controls on the steering wheel. Uh, this left directional pad is going to control, hold on, let me turn off our air conditioning here. Uh, it's going to control your advanced drive assist display, which provides you with fuel economy, trip information, and all things of that nature for you. On the right-hand side, uh, you also have mounted controls for your entertainment center, which is going to be for changing uh, through tracks and presets, uh, Bluetooth hands-free calling, volume control, as well as your voice recognition system. Uh, down below here, you also have uh, your cruise control. As you can see, it's all right there for you to push or pull on. Uh, the steering wheel itself is also tilting and telescopic capable, so you can move that up, down, in, or out, however you need to. Up above, you've got a nice little sunglass holder right here. Controls for your moonroof, because you've got a nice little automatic shade right here. Two clicks, and that'll just start moving for you. We'll go ahead and stop that. This also does tilt and slide for you. Um, got a nice little rear view mirror right here. Uh, down below is going to be your Ford MySync system. So um, you've got a CD player here. Down below is the entertainment center where you can access your phone, navigation, um, as well as your entertainment and your climate control system too. Uh, analog controls for that are also available right here as well as a lock button for you centrally located on the vehicle. Down below here is an automatic uh, dual climate temperature control system in the vehicle. You can just set this to auto, turn it up to about 74, you notice that the fans came on strong and then reduced speed um, after I adjusted the temperature. And then below there, you've got a heated mirror option, which will also heat your back glass. And to the right, your power lift gate that you can open or close from here too. Honk, honk. All right, here's your shifter. You've got park reverse neutral drive in a sport or a slow mode, depending on how you want to utilize that. It's going to raise your RPMs and either make your driving more aggressive or it can help slow the vehicle down if you know what you're doing there. Uh, you also have manual shifting capability to give you more control over the vehicle that way too. Uh, down below here, you've got a 12 volt outlet. Heated seats are going to be up front, e-brakes right here. And then you also have a couple nice cup holders right here. Nice large dual level uh, uh, glove box right there. So you can see plenty of storage in there. You've got your owner's manuals inside. Center console here. It's going to have a nice small tray. Utilization of the underside for you. And then in here you've got two USB ports, an SD card slot for your navigation, audio and video inputs, um, so you can actually utilize that as well with the screen on board. Um, we'll go into that if you ever come in and check it out. And a 12 volt outlet. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. So back here you can see you've got some more storage in the doors, uh, bottle holders, a nice little speaker system in here too. Uh, rear ventilation for your passengers, and you also have a centrally located power inverter where you can plug something in um, and then attach the audio and video inputs to it as well in the center console. Got a nice uh, little uh, armrest right here with cup holders, storage behind the seats. You've got your latch system for child seats here. Uh, these seats do lean back a little bit, so you can see that's where they're defaulted at. I'm just going to pull the lever right here, give it a little push back. 
can see you've got a little bit of angle adjustment right there. So very nice. And then of course these do fold down for you. Press that button there. Boom. Look at that. Nice flat plane. Let's go ahead and transition to the back hatch so you can see how much storage capability you've got. Again, this lift gate is powered. Just press right here. It's going to open on up for you. See, you've got plenty of space right here on the inside. Rear seats fold down in a 60-40 split for you. You've got a little bit of storage here on the left-hand side as well as the right. Another 12-volt outlet back here for you um, so that you can do all of your tailgating and things of that nature. And of course, underneath here, you've got your spare tire, roadside equipment, as well as some nice little storage cubbies too. So a uh, really awesome vehicle, tons of great utility guys. If you'd like any more information on this particular Escape, head on over to Reed Buick, Reed Buick GMC com. Make sure that you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any other questions or if you think that I left something out. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.